tough mom to uh, be able to handle me. You need to be somebody who never gives up to be able to handle me because I was really stubborn. So me, I don't blame my dad sometimes. Maybe I, he just couldn't handle it anymore. Before Kwam Yoji will gain massive 1.4 million followers on Instagram and 907k followers on Twitter at the time of his recordings. Before Kwam Yoji will crack 18 million views on his hit single Angela on YouTube at the time of his How's it going guys? This is Rise to Fame and we bring to you the journey of African celebrities to fame. For more updates, subscribe to our channel and let us know in the comments down below on who we should do next. Now let's get right into the video coming up. Eugene Kwame Mafu was born on February 1st, 1997, who goes by the stage name Kwame Eugene. He was born to Alice and Juliana Mafu in Achim Oda, Ghana. Achim Oda, a suburb of Eastern Region. His interest in music led him to sing in the church from a very young age, where he also learned how to play the drums, keyboard, and guitar. Growing up, he started producing his own beats when he was 16. He used to pay his studio fees with his school fees until he started his recording studio at his mom's kitchen. He credits his mom a lot for her protection and attention she had for him in his childhood stage. Now Kwame Yoji dropped out of school because of his love for music and spent more time and two months studying music in a studio located in Eastern Region without informing the school authorities and his mother. He was later expelled from school after it was discovered that he had skipped school. He attended Salvation Army Senior High School located at Achim Wenchi. The young artist who grew up in the environs for Dharma, a suburb of Accra, furthered his education to Ghana Telecom University. It is from his experiences at the university that shaped his love for music. MTN Hitmaker is one of the popular reality television shows in Ghana. It is music TV show that has brought forth some of the hottest artists in Ghana, including Kitty and Cool Sangs, and many others like Last Made Popular. In 2016, Ramiyoji was the, a contestant in the show and finished third despite not winning the competition. His stellar performances and passion for music attracted the attention of many industry players and he signed for one of the largest record labels in Ghana, Linux Entertainment. Linux Entertainment has been responsible for launching careers for other musicians in Ghana successfully. Some of these include Richie, Ziggy, Miss V, Kiddy, and Dope Nation. Since joining the record label in 2016, Ramiyoji has released one album and several singles. When the Lioness Entertainment produced Angela in 2017, the song was the fastest to reach 1 million views on YouTube and the most of any artist on the label at that time of his recordings. The Ghanaian singer has not released many albums since he first signed for Lioness Entertainment. As of October 2020, there are only two Kwame Yoji albums. He released his debut album Rockstar in 2018. The album has 13 songs, including The Angela and Confusion. In 2020, he released his second album Sound of Africa. The album has 14 songs, including Show Baby and Marry Me. A noticeable differences between the two of Sound of Africa features some of the top artists in Ghana and African music like Shatawale, Zlatan, and Uganda's Edi Kenzo and among others. Now, in June 2018, he released a single, Wish Me Well, which was in response to negative comments he received on social media, some of which alleged he was stealing lyrics from another artist, Ice Springs. Han Yujin has gone on to perform on many small stages, including Oh My Festival in Amsterdam, Afrobeats to the World Concert at the PlayStation Theater in New York and Afro Nation in Ghana. Kwame Yojin has been in the music industry for partly three years, but in that period, he has won 17 awards and received numerous other nominations. Three of top awards he has scooped since he started singing. Despite being an award-winning singer, Kwame Yojin is also a skilled at video games. In 2020, he beat competitor Kojo Sheldon to win the Joy Sport phase of FIFA Best Player. That was his second time to win the award. 
Now, many publications indicate that Kwame Yoji net worth could be around $50,000. Some estimate the amount based on his revenues. His last three years' source of his wealth include album sales, music, streaming, and live performances. He owns two car models, namely Genesis Coupe and Kia 4X4. He is allied to be dating Priscilla Kwashi, an entrepreneur and a brand ambassador. So, this ends the story. We have a fresh new update for you every week. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out any update. Comment down your favorite celebrity and let us do in the next update.